The biggest Caitlin Clark hair and Shell Struz decided not to show up against the Indiana Fever in Dallas Wings games. This is the games that she's been calling throughout majority of the season. And it's just widely known that she's the biggest Caitlin Clark hater. Um, it started when she went on Gilbert Arena's uh, podcast and just started spewing lies about Caitlin Clark. And Caitlin Clark has literally been having a historical season. Um, she's literally been the top two player in the second half of the season alongside with Kelsey Mitchell as well. The Indiana Fever are winning. Caitlin Clark is the for sure rookie of the year. And it just hurt Cheryl Swoop's soul, right? Uh, Cheryl Swoop's, right? is a black woman, right? And she's a former um, WNBA player, a uh, Hall of Famer as well, right? And just sit there and just come out there and say it, man. She, I don't know why she's hiding it. I don't know why she just want to come out there and say that she hates Caitlin Clark because she feels as though that, you know, um, she just jealous, right? Um, we just got to be honest the way that we assess, you know, our thoughts and our feelings, right? I think Caitlin Clark, when you look at her playmaker, her passing, her advantage creation, right? And how is that literally setting the Indiana Fever up for success, right? And she generating high quality looks and the buckets that she is generating for her teammates as well, alongside with Kelsey Mitchell playing at a high level. And they looking like the best scoring backcourt in WNBA history, looking like Step and Clay, right? It hurts Shell Swoop's soul because at the end of the day, she didn't try to give her credit. She tried to belittle Caitlin Clark. She tried to sit there and say that the Indiana Fever can make the playoffs without Caitlin Clark. She tried to sit there and say Caitlin Clark doesn't provide anything to the game, right? And all these WNBA players try to sit there and, you know, get on Caitlin Clark and sit there and say the only thing that she provided is just three-point shooter, but she's an elite-level playmaker. She's an elite-level playmaker and passer. She's an elite-level advantage creator, right? Um, she's elite-level in getting to the rim, drawing extra defenders out, kicking it to open shooters as well, right? So they don't want to sit there and give Caitlin Clark her just dues in her respect. But Cheryl Swoops is just a hater. She hates on Caitlin Clark consistently and prop up Andrew Reese, right? Just because Andrew Reese is black, right? And Caitlin Clark is white, right? And Cheryl Swoops is just a bitter, hating black woman. And for me, as a black man saying it, 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 just, it hurts, but it's just facts, man. Cheryl Swoops hate on Caitlyn Clark because she's white. And there's a lot of black women that hate on Caitlyn Clark because she's white, right? But this is just sad. This is this is obvious, right? Um, it's like when we sit there and talk about Caitlyn Clark's game, we talk about her skill set. Why do y'all always try to bring in race and other factors that just doesn't evolve the game of basketball, right? And Cheryl Swoops, I don't know what Caitlin Clark did to you, right? But when you went on Gilbert Arena's podcast and just lie or just keep on going on podcasts just to belittle Caitlin Clark game, when she has done nothing but elevate the sport, um, she has really bought so many eyes to the game of basketball, something that you didn't do, right? Not once in your career. Right. Caitlin Clark has the most watched games in the WNBA history, and she's only been playing what about what 25 games. Right. So the fact that she just hating on Caitlin Clark instead of giving her props and giving her respect, uh, she's bringing all the attention to the sport. Right. Her making the playoffs with the Indiana Fever is going to bring so many eyeballs to the playoff um, atmosphere as well. And it's literally going to be the most watched playoff run in WNBA history. Right. The fact that she's elevating the sport, bringing so much attention and guys are actually wanting to pay attention. Uh, uh, everybody just wanted to pay attention to the sport. It's just crazy. And the fact that she just hating sad, man. But despite all of that, Caitlin Clark is still be able to go out there and produce. Caitlin Clark is still go out there and prove the dollars wrong. Caitlin Clark is still go out there and motivate her teammates and still get the best output of herself and for the sport as well. But we got people that come out there and just hate, just hate. She's the rookie of the year. And on top of that, she should be a top three player and we talk about MVP voting because how impactful she been second half of the season right it would have hurt Shell Swoop's soul just to see Caitlin Clark drop 28 points hitting threes like it's nothing right in her face as she called the game but the fact that she called out instead of just you know commenting on Caitlin Clark's game right and giving her respects it just shows she's just a bitter hating girl that's what she is She's just bitter. She's just a hater. And this is just sad.
why do we continue to hate on other women? This is the crazy thing, part of it. Right? This is the crazy thing, right? They always sit there and say, oh, we we as women, we're getting undervalued and we want to get paid as the men's and women basketball players have to stick together and we're trying to elevate the sport and want people to take us serious. But meanwhile, when you get somebody like Caitlin Clark, right, who come over there and elevate the sport to unbelievable heights that they have never been in the history of their existence as well, right? You got somebody like Cheryl Seuss who just hate Caitlin Clark continue to win. Kayla Clark continue to put the dollars wrong. Since y'all left her out the Olympic game, it's been waking a demon up in Caitlin Clark. She's been averaging, what, 26 points, dropping 28, 30. This is their most points. She's dropping back-to-back -back games, 28, and then she dropped 30 against Angel Reese as well, which I didn't hear anything with Cheryl Schultz had to sit there and say about the game. But Kayla Clark continue to put the dollars wrong, and she's looking elite in Cheryl Soups. She's just a hater.